Okay. Dreams live, we're good. Today we are doing the Hita story quest. Street Fighter launches in like two hours. So we're only streaming until that release. Uh in the meantime we're starting this quest. Oops. I didn't know you could what? Huh, oh, you can't. Back at it. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. We're taking it easy today. Chill grinding. Hey! Isn't that Nahida? There she is. Nahida! Paimon didn't think we'd run into you here! Oh, hey there! It's been a while, hasn't it? What the? What have you two been up to? Yeah, this. <laughs> Seems like you've been enjoying yourself. It's been a lot, Nahida. How about you? What are you up to now? I'm just looking at the sunlight really while getting some fresh air. I noticed that I have some blurry memories after saving Ermin's. Oh, she doesn't know. I almost feel like there's still something extremely important I need to do, but I can't remember what it is. Hmm? Why is that? My mom doesn't know either, oh no! Don't worry, we'll help you remember! Thank you so much. Since you're willing to help, I have something I'd like to show you. Eh? Oh, nice. It's a... it's a rock. With some tree branches. Oh, it's beautiful! It looks like it's filled with some kind of power. Mm -hmm. I found it in the sanctuary of Suristana, but I have no recollection of it whatsoever. It's filled with pure elemental power that is quite similar to mine, but yet it's also a little different. It's very likely that it's connected to my foggy memory, but I can't yeah, figure this. out what it is. Traveler, do you have any ideas? No, no clue. I uh -uh. have never seen that before a day in my life. We just happen to be going on an adventure right now. If we find anything, we'll be sure I have coffee. You know, right I'm away. loving. Thanks, you two. I didn't mean to trouble you again. Don't mention it. Besides, it seems you've got a lot on your mind, and we'd like to help. What the? Don't look at me like that. Oh! Hey, get out! You shouldn't be around here! I'm sorry, Lesser Lord Kusanali. Fungi don't usually come near this place. Last warning! Get out before I kick you out, you hear? Hang on. I think it's trying to tell us something. Traveler lives a hard life. But Great Dendro Archon, it's a monster! Hey, man. Please, don't worry. Hmm... I think I understand. Seems that it wants us to follow it. Oh, yeah, why it? not? Mm -hmm. Even though different creatures have varying habits and ways of communicating, the emotions we experience are all the same. Nahida, I farm these things for like materials. I feel its anxiety. No, I don't need this. It's in dire need of our help. Oh, God. Well, fungi are kind of cute. Oh, it's so unfortunate. Bongo head. Hmm, that's true. Okay, let's go take a look. I miss Bongo head. All right, lead the way, little fungus. Although they all look about the same, some fungi are friendly, while others are super aggressive and attack anyone they see. It can't be I don't. helped. Perhaps in their eyes, 
humans are like fierce monsters as well. Whoa, that's deep in the heat of. They can't distinguish which human behaviors are hostile or not. And it'd already be too late for them once humans have drawn their weapons. Hence why they tend to strike first, rather than waiting. That's not too different from how humans think sometimes. <gasps> One guy down. That's what I meant by shared emotions. Oh. Is this not usually in the story quest? I'm pretty sure it's a story quest. Unless I accidentally started the TCG event it somehow. It appears it was in a hurry because of this unconscious fungus. Hmm. Seems like they might be family. So maybe this fungus wanted to bring Nahida here to help its family member. Probably. Although fungi are simple creatures, they're very sensitive to elemental power. Maybe it noticed me on my way back and thought I'd be able to help. I'll take a look. I should be able to help if it's just a common illness. It can give common illnesses? Hmm? Oh, that's concerning. What is it, Nahida? Strange. Very strange. This fungus didn't develop from a spore. It's an elemental life form. Huh? An elemental life form? Yes. Although the fungi you normally see are capable of using elemental powers, they're merely borrowing elemental power from nature around them. Lore! As for this fungus, it has elemental power flowing through it. Whoa. Definitely not anything like your typical fungus. Exactly. This is very interesting. I've never seen anything like it. So this is a first even for Nahida. But that's not all. There's a large void within its elemental power. The void is stopping the elemental power from flowing normally, which must be why it fainted. So do you huh? think it'll wake up if we can fill the void? Yes, and I just so happen to be good at this sort of thing. What well, aren't you good at, Nahida? I'll see what I can do right away. It can talk? They're so happy. My power was compatible. Looks like everything is fine now. Lord of Tendril? Mm. Is it really the Lord of Tendril? Oh my god, I got spooked. Oh, I can't believe the Lord of Tendril saved me. Thank you, as well as the stranger and creature next to you. Paimon is a bit of a creature. I didn't expect such a strange creature to make a sound like that. Me neither. Seems I'm just as shocked as you are. What? Of course Paimon can talk. Uh, Paimon isn't a strange creature. Paimon's just... Paimon! Hello, Paimon. I'm not <laughs> yet able to evaluate an organism's intelligence from its appearance. I will only know you are able to speak once you have spoken. Oh, uh... No big deal. They'll get along nicely. But does Paimon really look so dumb that people might think Paimon doesn't know how to talk? <laughs> you must understand, Paimon. A mouth is used for eating, breathing, and other functions that are more important than speaking. Whoa. That's very deep, man. So a creature may not speak, even if it has a mouth. I've never seen a creature like you before, so I dared not make the assumption. Sounds good. Thank you for tuning speak. in. Have a good sleep. Good night. Thank you for hanging out. Even if you do possess a number of human traits, it is still very common for creatures to have similar external forms but completely different interiors, just like fungi and slimes. Oh. Did this fungus study at the academia? It seems even more talkative than Pyra. Oh, there's a Lumine smile. Lumine smile. You're not a fungus, are you? That's correct. This might be surprising to you, and I'm sure that you must have questions. What? Let's find somewhere else to talk. All right, but... It might startle my fellow family members if I speak too much using this strange voice. Me, me, me? 
<laughs> it says that it's very thankful for your help. That's very cute. I still have to farm them later, though. Very in-demand material. I was confident that I knew of all the creatures in Tavat. Even if there are ones I've never seen with my own eyes, I thought I possessed all the relevant knowledge about them. However, even if I were to lay out the traits of all elemental life forms, you don't seem to match any of them. What are you? And where did you come from? I come from an ancient race. We have existed for a very long time, possibly longer than any records in existence. My home was filled oh, with cute. water and great mountains. Lush grass covered the land, and my family and I lived in bliss and happiness. Until the apocalypse came and changed my home forever. Oh God. A horrifying power consumed all there was. The seeds of catastrophe nested and grew inside of us, twisting and warping us, causing us to lose control. We were victims of the apocalypse, yet in time, we also became the apocalypse itself. That's metal. Apocalypse? I'm not sure what it means either. It sounds like some kind of old fable. It's a long and complicated story. It will take me some time to explain it clearly. Don't worry, we'll listen. Please continue. I was lucky and managed to survive. Afterward, I left with some of my family and came to Sumeru to search for a way to rescue my homeland. We came in contact with many species and learned from their cultures and knowledge, hoping to understand the truth behind the apocalypse. Any luck? We later found out that humans know the power of the apocalypse and refer to it as forbidden knowledge. Oh. Your home was destroyed by forbidden knowledge? Does that mean you're from the desert? It's said that they are looking for a way to save their homeland, but the catastrophe of the desert should have ended a long time ago. The Lord of Dendro is correct. We are not from the desert. I would very much like to tell you the location of my homeland, but unfortunately, I've forgotten. Unfort. That may sound a little odd, as it is very important to both me and my family. Yes, how could you forget? I am a life form that was contaminated by the apocalypse. A part of my knowledge and memory was taken away as the contamination inside of me was purged. Ah, I get it now. So the void of elemental power was left behind from when the forbidden knowledge was purged. I'm sorry. I hadn't considered that kind of possibility. That's okay. Lord of Dendro, there is no need to apologize. Without your help, I would have lost more than just my knowledge and memory. And not only did you save me, but you've also already rid the world of the remaining forbidden knowledge, right? That's right. The forbidden knowledge is no more, and your homeland should be safe now. My home... should be safe now. We can go home. For the longest time, this moment has only seemed like a dream. I never knew it would become a reality so quickly. I was unable to fulfill our calling. I never found a way to save my homeland. And I have even forgotten where it is. This is so sad. It's not your fault. You've already done everything you can. Every species paid a grave price in the fight against forbidden knowledge. This is not a responsibility you should carry on your own. You mentioned that there were other survivors besides yourself. Where are they? Maybe they'll remember. The apocalypse put us through immense pain. Many of my family members have already met their end. I'm not sure who else is still alive. Don't worry, I should be able to find them. Just leave it to me. Oh. I'll leave the rainforest to the Aranara. And as for the city... There are a few nice kids that should be willing to help. Ah, the cavalry. Oh yeah, they'll give us a hand. Give me a moment. I'll contact them right now. What?
That should do it. It may take some time to find them, so let's wait for a bit. Thank you, Lord of Dendro. We all believe that you will keep your promises. The moment I saw you when I awoke, I had a feeling you were here because of the agreement. Hmm? Agreement? Oh my god, it's the wrong Lord of Dendro. You might not remember, but this is a prophecy that we deeply believe in. That the Lord of Dendro will bring us home once the catastrophe comes to an end. Ah, oh, I see. I... I'm sorry. There are also some blurry segments in my memory as well. But I'm very concerned about your homeland. This is something I should help with. It's really no trouble to me at all. Would you all be willing to come with me somewhere as we wait? The more family members that can return home with me, the better. But didn't you say that you don't know where they are? Yes, but I know their end. Huh? I will explain it to you along the way. Well, this is a fun one. Across the creek, I guess. very concerned about yes I didn't mention it just now but do you remember when I told you that the power in the crystal is very similar to mine yet also different the elemental power inside the crystal is completely identical to that of the fungus ah what exactly the prophecy that it mentioned was probably an agreement that I made with an elemental life form that once represented its race. I had to deal with the forbidden knowledge to save their homeland. The process, however, took away some of my memories. That sequence of events would explain the persistent feeling that I had unfinished business. Makes sense. Too bad it's unable to tell us more. Yeah. You mean? I've been trying to think of a place that fits the description of its homeland, but I'm unable to come up with anything. Agreed. I really want to send them home, so they won't have to wander around anymore. The road here is a little rough. I'll lead the way. Can handle any road. Ah! Enemies, you're up, traveler. All right. I see Ooh. everything. I've had Genshin open too long. Witness the power. Stand with me. You all would have definitely been able to find a way to survive the apocalypse. Jesus. Uh, hey, Paimon has been meaning to ask. You all didn't originally look like this, did you? No, we didn't. The appearance of our kind will change according to the environment. After communicating with various living organisms in Sumeru, we discovered that fungi are the life form most adapted to live in these lands. Thus, we gradually took the form of fungi and became a part of their group. Mm. It's hard to believe that's even possible. The most important instinct any life form possesses oh. is adapting to the environment. No, I don't think that should surprise you. Your hand is shaped like that for a reason, so you are able to grip and use tools more easily. What's well, Paimon human? Hi, Ange. The Welcome to the stream. Power We're trying to, to save this thing. And fend off natural predators. Such a crazy idea. No, no, where's that? We, we also might have to tell Nahida about Ruka Tabaka. That is why we are so adaptable. So you mean, if Paimon wanted to, Paimon could right change there. into a different form as well? I 
don't what like the implications of that. You would require a long time to make that happen. I'm scared of Paimon. Although this is common sense to us, it is still extremely difficult to explain. Putting it as simply as possible, changing form requires energy. And energy comes with time. Makes sense, makes sense. You cannot make a sprout grow into a giant tree instantly. I'm waiting until Nor Street Fighter releases. To bear fruit Hopefully I can finish this quest before then. It's two hours. I see. But we Humans will see. have a term for this. It's called growth. Growth! Ah, you're so smart, Nahida! Paimon gets it now! Growth. I see. Yes, then this is what you would call growth. A most beautiful word. I shall enjoy it more as we walk. <sighs> Keep walking. How much farther is it? We're about halfway there. You're doing great, Paimon. We're halfway there. Do you need me to carry you on my back? What? Huh? Oh no, Paimon was just curious. Paimon isn't that tired. <laughs> He seems to enjoy taking care of others. You think so? Does the Lord of Dendro need to be carried? Please, it would be so cute. Uh, that would be awkward, wouldn't it? Why don't you fly up and sit on top of my head? We can figure out who will carry who later! We have monsters here! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hyper bloom. I think we may have a different understanding of carrying someone. No matter whether it's tired or not, my child is always happy when I put it on my back and give it a ride. Child? You mean the fun guy we ran into earlier? Yes. One was my friend, and the other was my child. What the? Why can't your kid speak? Because it's just a fungus. I don't want my presence to change or affect the original state of the fungi species here. However, it is slightly different from an ordinary fungus. It seems to understand some human language, so I gave it a name. Oh, then it must be a really cute name. Uh-huh. You know, like Bongo Head. I do love Bongo Head. Hmm, you have an odd taste for names. Yeah, in, on, in hindsight, yeah. Strange and cute at the same time. It's a name only Paimon would be able to come up with. True. <laughs> That's right. The name I came up with was not as creative as Paimon's. I learned it from an adventurer. It's... Its name is... I'm sorry, but I forgot... Whoa. Uh, seems like I've forgotten many important things. Yes. I must remember it before I return. Oh. It's just as important as my homeland. This is interesting. A lot of things. Yes, this way. We're almost there. Can I read it's mine? Everyone hold it. No matter how long it's been, oh. it still looks like it had suddenly frozen in place. What? No matter how long it's been, Same thing. it still looks like it had suddenly frozen in place. It's... the withering! Yes, I have heard humans also call it that before. It's the last form we take when we are at the end of our life. What the... Uh... Paimon doesn't understand! It's trying to say that when they've suffered enough and reached the end of their life, they become a tumor of the withering. Yes, I would have also suffered the same fate if it wasn't for the Lord of Dendro's help. So, this is how the withering is formed? Previous research has revealed that forbidden knowledge is the root cause of the withering. But even if forbidden knowledge has been completely removed, its influence still remains, which is why the withering remains Interesting. even after forbidden knowledge has disappeared. They've been tormented by forbidden knowledge for a long time. It's understandable that they will eventually become the withering. But what a sad and pitiful end. When I left my homeland, flowers like these filled the fields. 
Each bloom represented an individual life. Uh, oh, that's so scary. They grew in the pristine lakes, in the fertile soil, in my home, and in the homes of oh, my friends. Oh my god. They grew everywhere until the world suddenly lost all its color and became tainted and murky. But it's all right. Our life essence, elemental power, still resides in this flower. After an adventurer clears the withering, I will quietly draw near the area. If I can sense the elemental power of my companions, then I take them with me. That's convenient. But that would mean the effects of forbidden knowledge could have... It's okay. That's not important anymore. I just hope that they can all make it back home. What is going on? It's not right to leave them to simply perish in the open like this. Now that we finally have the chance to return home, each one I manage to bring back will make me that much happier. I understand. Just leave it to us. So you're worried about me? <laughs> Maybe. It's fine. Forbidden knowledge doesn't exist anymore. It's natural to want to be overcautious when dealing with a highly venomous snake. But when all that's left is a skeleton, there's nothing to worry about. It always has one. Uh, Rhino um, doesn't get what you two are talking about, but we're all ready to go now, right? So let's do this. We've dealt with the withering countless times already. I hate it. All right, clear the withering. Why did it replace my Nahida? It's so much worse than my Nahida. What is this? Uh, where the... Oh. Rain Whoops. Last one. So it wasn't able to make it to the end. If only it could have held on just a little longer. I hope that you will be free of this pain after returning home. Just thinking about how many elemental life forms have turned into tumors. Oh, of sad Paimon. Makes Paimon sad. It's okay. As long as elemental power still exists, then we will still be around. An external form is but a gift of time. Through growth comes change, and even abandonment of previous forms. However, Hi Gwen. our true nature is not so. We're risky. killing time till Street Fighter drops. It wouldn't have come to this if we were able to cure them earlier. But I will cure all of them, even if it's just for the sake of the rainforest and all the life forms that live in it. Thank you, Lord of Dendro. It was a wise choice for us to place our trust in you and wait. Hold on. I think I got something. AT&T. Technical support. Oh, I see. Okay, I understand. Thank you so much. So, they found a fungus that matches the description I gave them. I like that it's They're a two-way connection. Like, they can somehow talk to her. It must be in a similar situation as I was. We should hurry and go take a look. Okay, wait to save a okay, fungus. Follow me. My chest. Treasure. Treasure.
easy money. Take it easy. <gasps> We're close now. It's just a little further inside. But there are so many fungi here. They're... Yeah, they won't be happy to see us. That is a lot of them. I like the little mushroom boar hiding. No fighting. These are all its family. Although we belong to different species, we've spent a long time living among the fungi. They are very important to us. I really farm them, like, weekly. They can be reasonable, as long as we try to communicate. I don't even try for a second. What should we do? You're the only one who can make it through, right? But you'll need Nahida's power if you want to save that fungus. I've got an idea. Can you teach me how to change into a fungus? This is a strategy. You want to transform into a fungus? But we don't have time for growth. Nahida is a god! <laughs> Turning into a fungus should be a piece of cake It's so good. Nahida is a god! <laughs> Even gods can't bend the laws of time so easily. What's the point of being a god? At the risk of being noticed. We may not be able to avoid a fight. But if spending some of my power will guarantee the safety of you and its family, then I'm willing to try. All right. You have great elemental power, so you may be able to do it. You will have to use power equal to that which is required to break through the limitations what? of time. <laughs> I will lend you the relevant knowledge that I have. It should make your transformation process a little easier. Now you're really here. Uh, nah, I'm not gonna stream six, but... All right, I'm ready. I'm just... Killing Changing time until we get to six. Quite an interesting experience. Then I'll probably hop in Discord. Lord of Dendro, this is nothing to joke. Yeah, you can stream it. I, am I would say go for it. Serious about this. Hmm? As am I. I'm not joking at all. All right, all so right. Cute. Let's not get hung up here. If it's really possible to turn into a fungus, then why don't we give it a try now? Okay. Good luck, Lord of Dendro. Oh god, she's turning into a farmable, farmable monster. Oh, there she is! Wow, you really turned into a fungus! It's actually not too bad. My perspective in this form isn't much different from usual. Ah, it's funny because she's short. The unconscious fungus is just below here. Can you all help me determine which one it is? Is it also the blue one? Oh, how do we do that? I'll get close to them while you make your way over from above. You should be able to identify them using elemental sight since they're elemental life forms. Uh. Then, all you have to do is repeat the correct answer in your mind. As long as I'm able to see you, then I'll be able to hear your answer. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. Let me lure away the fungi up top and make way for you. Yeah, I say stream whatever you want. I'm probably not going through the story right away. Oh, there she goes. Bro, I'm not taking you. I'm gonna take there. Fungus on the move. Look at her go. There's so many. Oh, is this one over here dead on the floor? on patrol in the sentry there. It looks pretty vigilant, so I'd better go around it. Oh, move right! <laughs> Up. Why is it reacting like that? Oh, Up. Oh, how's your day going? Oh, no. Uh-oh. The fungus on patrol noticed me. Hello. I'm just a fungus. Nah. Nah. Nailing it, Nahida. Uh-oh. All right, I guess I had to go left. Oh, we try again. I farm these things multiple times a week. Very in demand. There's a fungus on patrol in the center there. All right, let's try the left. Hi, Electro One. How are you doing? You're not going to rat me, right? Ah, uh, this one's not a narc. I got it. Oh, look at Nahida! No, 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 no. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, God. Nah, nah, nah. 
All right, we're good. <sighs> Not a narc. It seems that fungus won't be moving for the moment. I should hurry and make my way through. Go, Nahida. Go, 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 go. This will be a lot of trial and error. Nahida, you gotta move faster. It's this one. He's dying. This is the spot. There are several fungi oh. here. Nahida, I need you to use some context clues. I'll hide and wait for the traveler to catch up. N uh. All right, so what's the plan here? What do you mean the other side? It's the other side? Okay. Oh. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Yeah, what a surprise. It's the one that's dying. <laughs> so this is the one. Understood. There she goes. Nahida on the roam. change forms like that equivalent to time travel apparently i even used the techniques that it taught me seems like its warnings were not unfounded the power of time accumulates slowly and goes unnoticed a great price is to be paid if you wish to perform drastic changes instantly thank it, you for everything that is very <laughs> all seems to have gone very foreboding now we simply wait for it to wake up Pick up, little guy. <gasps> Who are you? I apologize. Language is not easy. Need long time. Ah, shit. It's an ultimate caster. It's okay. I have good news. Let me explain it to you the fungi way. Ended? Go home now? Yes. Unfortunately, I've forgotten where home is. I was hoping you still remembered. I remember. You remember? Really? That's great! Home. Dendro Dragon. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Dendro Dragon. Ah, yes! The Dendro Dragon! Oh, guys, the Dendro Dragon! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Let's sorry, go to the Dendro I'm Dragon! So excited. I've probably never expressed such emotions before. But yes, our home is the Dendro Dragon. Oh, we're so fucked! Oh, wait a minute. Hyman's confused. Do you mean the Dendro Dragon as in... There is one dragon. ...elemental dragon? Like Dvalin? Yes. They're both dragons, but a pep, the dendro pep. dragon, has been around for longer and has accumulated dense elemental power. Who? No one told I, me about I don't a pep? I understand. Why would you say that your homeland is a dragon? Because we live inside the dendro dragon. Oh, of course you do. Uh, That's just so dope. The dendro dragon. Inside. Very big. Mountains. Water, trees, us. Oh my god, the dragon is There's a pocket dimension. World inside the dendro dragon. Oh fuck. The dendro dragon nurtured the earliest life forms and protected us inside of itself. It once told us in a majestic voice that once we finally matured, we'd be able to start life in a new world. However, that day never came. Our homeland was the greatest place there ever was before the apocalypse arrived. I'm still confused. Hey. Like dendro slimes giving birth to smaller slimes. Yes, a very good example. All right, nailed it. It appears that you're much smarter than Paimon. The only difference <laughs> Get on, is idiot. the dendro dragon is much, much larger than any dendro slime. Wait, then if that's the case... Doesn't that imply that a pep has also been contaminated by forbidden knowledge? Yes, that is correct. What has suddenly made you look so worried, Lord of Dendro? I haven't seen this expression on you before. A pep is the most adaptable life form in the world. The forbidden knowledge should have become a part of its body a long time ago. We never thought to discuss this. Which means 
That if all the forbidden knowledge has been eliminated... Then a big void will also form inside the dragon! I'm afraid so. Its body and soul have probably been in terrible shape for some time now. No wonder I haven't seen a pep for so long. But how did it get contaminated? Was it due to the destruction of King Deshret's civilization? Hmm... But anyway, a pep disappeared and has been gone ever oh, yeah, since yeah. that time. It's been enduring unimaginable pain all the while. It's probably <laughs> in pain as we speak. But... Yes! How could I have forgotten? If the Dendro Dragon fails to hang on, the elemental power inside it will no longer be able to maintain its form, and will all be dispersed. Dendro elemental power of that concentration will cause the rainforest to overgrow. Giant trees will completely block out the sun. What the Plants fuck? humans will fight over oxygen. What? Sumira will no longer be suitable for sustaining life. Get a hold of yourself, child. What about the crystal? Why don't you show it to them and see if they know anything about it? We're all gonna die. We have to kill a dragon. Sorry. You're right. We don't have time to panic. Have you two ever seen anything like this before? No. Oh. <laughs> no. Its power feels very familiar. Like something from our homeland, but I don't know what it is. I'm sorry our oh. memories aren't very reliable. It's okay. I'll contact my helpers just as I did before. Your helpers are child and fairies. I need something more reliable. Get me the F-22s. It's a dragon. I'm counting on you all. Your info is crucial to us now. I am Let's curious. The first dragon in this game is the oldest, like, like weekly boss in the game. So I'm curious how they do another dragon fight. Or I guess... Age the Ha is technically a dragon, I guess. Oh, they got us food. Thank you. Family bringing food. Oh. I explained to them that you aren't hostile. You couldn't have done that After before. Seeing you save it. Its family is very grateful to you. Go home, thief. Heart decision. Don't know. They are weak. I've I've, I've killed. I'm not kidding. Thousands of these things. If waiting, then I hope. Don't worry. I understand what you are trying to say. Family is very important to us. No matter when we were actually family. It has done a lot to protect this territory and can't help but worry now that it's about to leave. Can you do one last thing for it while we wait? Of course. I can relate to how it's feeling. I need to organize my thoughts as well. Thank you. Thank you. Tend soil. Food. Don't like plant invasion. Huh? There are two things that it wants you to do. One is to look after the land that the food is grown in. And the other is to drive away the plants that are trying to invade the area. Yeah, sure. Uh, we, we'll get to the dragon business after, I guess. We'll take care of it right away. All right. Food seeds. <laughs> go, Nahida, go. Minecraft farm going on over here. You plant seed. Water? That works. Uh I assume. Oh. oh. I 
understand. Oops. That. It'll go away in like ten seconds. What we can do until we receive some new leads. Can you tell us about the Dendro Dragon? We don't know anything about it. Who is it? And what? Well, oh my bad. The history of dragons starts from the very beginning of Tavat. Oh yeah, I've seen this video. The area was a Peps territory. In those days, the lush rainforest covered the entire nation. Oh, so there was no desert back then? Not at first. That came when a giant spike fell from the sky, turning a huge section of the rainforest into sand. A giant spike from the sky. Zhongli? In an attempt to adapt to its new environment, a pep changed color from the emerald green of the forest to the yellow of the sand. No wonder those I think this is before Archons. are always talking about the importance of adapting. A pep has always seen itself as the master of Sumeru. I think it's before Archons. Maybe not, though. Established. Even it could have been Zhongli. It probably still holds great hostility toward the gods. However, powerless against the power in the sky, and then the forbidden knowledge many millennia later, it's been unable to stir up any trouble. Conflicts between the two sides are destined to continue until a balance can be found. As far as I know, a pep had been slumbering in the desert, and King Deshret had taken a great interest in it. Maybe this is why a pep was contaminated. I'm not a sure pep. what may have led it to become involved, but rescuing it is definitely our top priority right now. The crystal that I have in my possession is probably the key that links the two matters together. Answer the question, Paimon. <laughs> oh, God. What it's trying to say is that as long as family members get along well, then nothing else matters. You place importance on appearances, but we do not. Ah, uh, get fucked, Paimon. We find the experiences, knowledge, and connections we've made to be more important. These are all things that are more reliable than mere external appearances. These are the fruits of time, and the essence of what it means to grow. Oh, I'm cool. Oh, Paimon gets it now! Looks can always change, so what's inside of us is more important. What if Paimon's? It wouldn't matter. Paimon would still be able to recognize you right away! Oh, God! Oh. Foreshadowing! Understood. Thank you. Still nothing new from the forest. Seems like we won't be able to find your other family members for now. <sighs> it appears we are out of leads to follow. And if no one knows how this crystal works, then a pep may be in danger. <gasps> Sorry. It's okay. It isn't your fault. I don't think it's a coincidence that neither of you can remember anything about the crystal. Maybe it's because the crystal has a very close connection to oh, the Oh god. Knowledge, which causes we have to tell her. To be unclear. Oh, come on, come on. He's and him. if that's the case, finding the other fun guy still wouldn't help us at all. Hmm. The crystal and the apocalypse. The apocalypse and memories. Lord of Dendro, do you still remember the prophecy? Mm hmm. I do. What about it? The prophecy is a story that connects events of the past and the future. 
A family member once said that the apocalypse is a part of us and that there is value in preserving it. Preserving the apocalypse, the huh? The family did not approve of its opinion at the time, so it left. Preserving the apocalypse? Do you mean that there's still some that hasn't been eliminated? That's not very likely. The power of Ermin Soul covers every inch of the land. Did the prophecy say where that family member went? To the limitless depths east of Sumeru. A murky place that no one can return from. The chasm! Yeah, that must be the chasm, right? But what is it doing there? Hmm. It's impossible to preserve forbidden knowledge, but what if it can be converted to a different form? I'm sorry if I'm suddenly not making any sense. However, I do think it's possible. Follow me. I'll explain it once we find that elemental life... Oh. Understood. We're on the move. What? Who's, who's distracted, bro? Who's taking it? Which world quest was it? That we was, keep going. That was, that was some, yeah. I figured I did most chasm shit. It would be really weird if there's just a quest I never completed. But it just gives you one that still needs to be completed? It's weird. I don't know. <laughs> so that elemental life form came all the way here on its own and spent a long time by itself? Wouldn't it already have become the withering like the others? I guess it was because you weren't in the chasm. Avoid that. Back in the back, back in the back. Using the power of something here. I'm referring to what was used to fight against the abyss. It once repaired the oh, roots of Tibet long ago. It has the ability to purify and stabilize powers that shouldn't exist in Tibet. Forbidden knowledge that its light has shone upon is kept here forever in a different form. Yep. It's just like soap bubbles that rise to the water surface. <sighs> Another strange metaphor. But Paimon somehow gets this one. What the Lord of Dendro means is that the apocalypse was altered by the power of the giant spike and hidden within the oozing filth. I really wonder if it was only. Yes, and it shouldn't be far from here. Let's go and take a look. Uh, one more to back, one more to back. Oh. Wait. Okay. It's on back right, back right time. Right, right. Oh, darn, darn, darn. Shit. You two should be able to take care of it, right? Oh. Uh. Yes, know. <laughs> yeah, one sec. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it, bro? I haven't used this thing in a while. Everyone hold in. Gotcha. Game's up. Come on, Phil. Dinosaur. Finally managed to rescue it. It should be the life form from the prophecy. Oh God! That light. Wait, something dark is coming out. Something's not right. What's going on? Didn't the heat say it was purified? Maybe it's because oh, such a long time. amount of time has passed. Although the Run. power of the oozing filth is more stable than that of the apocalypse, it is still a form of dangerous power. It might have lost its mind after being soaked in it for such a long time. Oh no! But we still have tons of questions we need to ask! I should be able to purge it with my elemental power. Imagine, imagine. What? But this is our only chance. 
Oh. Oh. Let her talk. Damn it. Give me some voice acting. I was being a little hasty myself. Let's see if we can think of another way. Oh, yeah. You said that the elemental power in the crystal was identical to theirs. You want to use its power, but... The Lord of Dendro seems hesitant. I, too, would advise caution. It's risky to use its power without fully understanding its intended use. Don't understand! This no good, that no good. Sad lies, important. Yes, I understand. But this is our only chance to return home. We cannot afford to be careless. It's okay, there's no need to argue. I'll think of something to do about the elemental power that will be used. Hmm, how about this? Traveler, you could try using it. Oh, I'm sure it's sound great. I understand that you have an amazing resistance to forbidden knowledge. Don't overdo it, Traveler. Paimon will be worried. Cutscene? Cutscene! Nope, cutscene over. It wasn't a cutscene. Lord of Dendro, and you others. How long? How long have I been waiting here? Oh, I got bad news for you, buddy. Hey! Looks like it worked! Lord of Dendro, here in person. Does that mean the apocalypse has come to an end? Wait, did you get smaller again? Oh my god! I'm sorry. That portion of my memory is highly unreliable at the moment. Oh, they don't know. I can't seem to remember who you are. Mm, that sounds about right. It's a different After Dendro all, Archon the that they remember. Existence is precisely for those unreliable memories you speak of. You once said that the apocalypse will be completely eradicated, and that relevant memories yes. will become unstable. Even you couldn't promise that you'd remember our agreement after those events take place. They don't really realize it either. It's a different Dendro Archon. However, you are definitely someone who stays true to your word. And Nahida My doesn't know about Rukutavaka either. To your resolve. You and I made the agreement? No. Nope. Yes, you used your power to protect me. That is the reason why I was no, able to survive. Oh, look at the R! To be honest, I'm nearing my end. I had thought I'd be stronger than this. No one can withstand the power of the apocalypse. Look at how cute! In order to preserve a somewhat stable memory, I had to change the power of the apocalypse into a different form. Only the giant spike that fell from the sky was capable of doing something like that. But the moment I chose to go through with it is the moment I lost my chance of being rescued by the Lord of Dendro. But enough about me. Lord of Dendro, let's get to the important matter at hand. As you can see, I won't last much longer. I understand, and I'm sorry. But, can you please tell me what this is? This is a fire seed. It's an essential item for saving the Dendro Dragon. Oh boy. Thankfully, it appears to be in good condition. The Lord of Dendro and our people created this item together. It mimics how the Dendro Dragon's Heart of Oasis operates. The Dendro Dragon has been tormented by the Apocalypse for far too long. It's always nearing the end of its power. However, if you are able to reactivate its heart of oasis using the fire seed, then the Dendro Dragon will begin to recover. And okay, as a result, okay, 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 okay. our homeland will return to the way it once was. Oh, so the heart of oasis is a pep source of power. No wonder the crystal was able to heal this fungus just now. That's what it's used for! What? Huh. You used the fire seat to save me? You said what? Mm -hmm. Why? What's wrong? That's 
Uh, never mind. It's not your fault. You didn't know. The fire seed contains a high concentration of elemental power inside of it. It's very okay, powerful okay. yet fragile at the same time. It is not stable in its current form. To prevent any accidents, please don't use it again. Oh, it could have exploded. Since I am its creator, I will take responsibility for it. I assure you there's no need to worry. All right. Aside from being able to heal the Dendro Dragon, the Fire Seed can also resonate with the heart of Oasis. In other words, you'll be able to find the Dendro down. Dragon by following the guidance of the Fire Seed. But you should hurry. There is little time to waste. What about you? Forget about me. You should hurry home now. Everyone is returning home, including you. As I told you, I've already lost my chance to be saved by the Lord of Dendro. Lord of Dendro, I thank you for coming watch out, watch out, watch out. to find me, and for being willing to save the Dendro Dragon. Our past has been saved, and our future has been ensured. It's enough for me, just knowing that they will return home. Hey! No! It turned into oozing filth. Can you use the Lumen Stone once more? I can still feel its elemental power. Please, of all of us, it deserves the chance to return home the most. No! This is a small ball of light that it left behind. I can feel it. I can feel its knowledge and emotions. It has all returned to its original elemental form and is becoming one with the other family members. Do not be sad, my friends. Its wish has come true and it's very happy right now. Because its external form doesn't matter, right? Yes, because our external form does not matter and our home has been saved. There is nothing more important than being together with family. Oh. We should really tell Nahida. Home. Oh boy. It might be time. It might be time to fight a dragon. It's not much further. Follow me, we're close now. Okay. Hey, bird. No, 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 come on, bird. I can feel its power lingering and shifting around us. Sometimes it feels distant, but other times, it seems close. This is its way of warning us. It has already noticed our presence. We won't be able to see anything if we keep going that way. Oh, not again, man. I fall in every cutscene. Oh shit! <laughs> what? 
Wait, that's so dope. We found it. A pep, the dendro dragon. A pep. I knew it would be big, but not that big. Puny god, puny human. Leave my domain. Puny god. Frail life forms like you cannot survive in the endless sands of the desert. A pep, we're here to save you. I do not need saving, especially not by you, Boor. Oh you are no shit. different from Amun. Both of you have only existed for a fraction of what you know as Amun. time. Yet you call yourselves lords of this land by leaning on the heavens glow. You're better off paying attention to your path ahead, as you will fall where you've fallen before. I know that you hate both gods and humans, but you've grown too weak now. Can't I'm you go through hatred, even for only a moment? Let go. Yes, Ange, how are you holding up? For only a moment. Foolish boor. <laughs> you will find no gratefulness from me, even if you heal me. You will only be reviving the dragon that will destroy Sumeru and the Seven Nations. Oh, shit! No, you're ill, that's all. That I am. Time will bring death to all. It's unavoidable. Although I am gravely ill, my mind <laughs> remains clear. I am different from the ancient dragons that came to terms with you. There's no need for this. There's no point in fighting. What we need is the truth. <laughs> the truth. The shackles that the God of Wisdom cannot escape from. I have paid dearly for the truth. And you shall do the same soon enough. Hey! Don't <laughs> Careful! Something's coming! What the? Paimon's never seen that before! It's our family. What? Huh? They're your family too? But they don't look anything like fungi. External form not important. Inner nature say. The composition of their elemental power is identical to ours. In other words, they're residents of our homeland. Oh, we can't fight them. Is this what they've become after experiencing the apocalypse? This is also a form of adaptation, although a most you, gruesome and pitiful one. Many of our family members never made it out of the Dendro Dragon. They've gradually taken this form in order to survive the apocalypse. Is there any way to avoid fighting them? Hey! Can you guys talk? We're here to rescue you! Nailed it, Paimon. They've given it their all just to survive. They're being drawn by the fire seed. Only its power can temporarily uh, yeah. free them yeah. from their pain. Oh, shit. Yep. Internet died. Oh, comes back. I come back. That's very funny. Roger, roger. And I'm gone again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am not here. Holy. Only its power can temporarily free them from their pain. All that remains are the instincts to survive and search for energy needed to do so. Everything else has been discarded in the process of adaptation. Then that's so scary. This is the result of forbidden knowledge. Would our world become the same if forbidden knowledge was allowed to rampage across to that? Like fish struggling on land, unable to find a single puddle of fresh water in the entire world. She loves her analogies. Yes, but please try to be gentle with them. They are not evil in nature. All they want to do is survive. Oh, Hyperbloom's incoming. Whoa. This is interesting. Quietly now. Here comes the catch. Our bond is strong. Andrew, what's the audio like for you? Oh. Thinks they used there we go. I think it was my setup. aggressive anymore. Yes. To go home. yes, it was never their intention to leave the Dendro Dragon. 
Is there a way to make them revert to their elemental form? Years of torment is what turned them into their current state. Their external form has become their shackles. It seems only the Fire Seed, or a Pep's Heart of Oasis, can save them. But it'll be risky if we use the Fire Seed again. Correct. We cannot use the Fire Seed again. Everyone goes home. Not just us. Mm. Uh, this is becoming quite the dilemma. <sighs> Let me think for a second. We should really tell Nahida. It's fine. Let's use the power of the Fire Seed. I can't bear leaving them in the desert like this. Don't worry, the decision is on me. I'll take responsibility for whatever happens. Oh, God. It won't require much elemental <coughs> power. I'm just worried that it'll become unstable. But as long as I use my elemental power to stabilize it a little, it shouldn't be a problem. Thank you. Sorry. Stubborn. <coughs> Thank you, Lord of Dendro. Returning home is the most important thing to you. I've come to understand that during our travels. I'm not doing this just to protect you, but also because I hope to use you and your experience and try speaking to a pep again. After uh. all, that giant uh. Dendro dragon is also your family. Maybe it would listen. I will stand with you, Lord of Dendro. I will never forget your kindness. Yes! Uh, yes! I'm so hyped! <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright, here it goes. Family. We will all be able to go home soon. <laughs> Oh, evolved! <laughs> Endless amounts of knowledge and emotions are moving inside of me. They're all very excited. To imagine such growth could be achieved in such a short period of time. It's because you're carrying everyone's hopes and dreams! Yes, finally. <laughs> we can go home. This is the last part. Let's go. You heard her. Let's fight a dragon. <laughs> Take it easy. Why are you here? Oh, come on. Wait, I need this. Thank Oh, nice. Big ass hole. This cave is huge. Could this be where the dendro dragon lives? Yeah. Who knows what's inside that cave? Our goal is not only to find the dragon, but to also enter the world inside of it. Who's that mean, Kobe Bryant? That will be impossible if we can't get it to cooperate with us. Bro. But how are we gonna do that? It doesn't seem to want to help at all. I'll see what I can do. A pep. I know we don't see eye to eye, and that we have a very different understanding of the world and its orders. However, we are both born uh -oh. of elemental power, and both suffered the torment of forbidden knowledge. We are not that different. And right now, we share a common enemy. We should not let our differences get in the way. Hmm. Wonder if the Dendro Dragon's even willing to listen. I don't care about what you believe in, who you hate, or what you've done in the name of hatred. Nor do I expect you to be grateful. I'm here to save both you and your people. My people! They've been searching for a way to save you ever since they left their homeland. They yearn for a chance to return home. And now that everything is over, all the hatred that you harbor has lost its meaning. Rather than such a good God. To fight, 
You should consider the life you've produced. No response. Your eagerness to survive means that you haven't given up on that world yet. If you claim to know so much more than I, then why don't you truly think about why you want to survive? And why you're so vengeful? Uh oh. And send us to the homeland. Oh boy. Do we fight right what away? The, what the fuck? There's so. Uh, okay, no. We're good. Yeah, um, Adam where are we? Huh? And what about the traveler? Oh Where'd no. She go? I was only able to ensure that we made it here safely. It's or possible we arrived at different locations. Hmm. Well, then let's go have a look up ahead. Paimon's feeling really worried. Yep, what I said, let's behind go. you, Mehmet! I wouldn't worry too much. The Traveler's no pushover. Bet. Paimon knows that. It's just that Paimon is oh, used to hurt. not having the Traveler around. <sighs> Let's hurry. She Come might be just up ahead. Oh. Uh. Huh. What's that? Oh, God. That should be the heart of Oasis. All we need to do is light it with the fire seed. And it'll restore a pep with elemental power. The damage it suffered internally will also slowly begin to heal. Then let's hurry and light it! We still need to find the traveler! Alright, hang on. That team just made a white hill. Uh, there is no one! I'm going onto wait, the hill! The fire seed! What happened? It shattered! Oh! It was even oh, more stable than that. I expected. But why? Oh, We're barely. Was... It. I'm not sure. Perhaps the fire seed was only capable of protecting one person? But if I didn't use its power on everyone, there's no way of knowing where you could have been sucked into. And even if that's the case, there's no reason for it to Oh, she's shatter. panicking. Uh, unless... Unless what? <laughs> unless I was already in a weakened state when I created this fire Oh seed. my god, it wasn't her. Which would be when we had first saved the desert. Oh no. Wait, that wasn't Nahida. The fire seed has shattered. Wouldn't that mean we came all this way for nothing? Oh. Do you know what we should do now, Nahida? Oh, come on, Paimon. Hey. Think. I. Uh, <sighs> Don't worry, Paimon. This is my responsibility. The fire seed is technically just a ball of highly concentrated elemental power. Although my mm -hmm. elemental power is slightly different than uh, that of elemental It looks suspiciously like a xenomorph egg in the back. I a better understanding of it when I turned into a fungus. So, all I have to do is imitate that power, while adding some of my own. And I'll be able to do what the fire seed was supposed to. You're gonna yes. become the fire seed? Yes. It'll take a lot of power from me. But it still won't be anything compared to when I was in the desert. Oh no, man. I might, however, become even smaller. But you're so tiny! What happens if you keep getting smaller? I'll become a blade of grass. Oh my god! Basically, I'll return to how I was first born. I will be able to unleash power beyond my limits if I can reverse the process of growth. But you'll lose everything. You'll not only lose your appearance, but you'll lose your emotions, memories, and who knows what else. That's all right. None of that matters compared to the dangers that a pep is facing right now. Oh, this child. No, no, wait. There has to be another way. Besides, what will Sumeru do if you turn into a twig? Maybe you and the traveler can plant me in the soil <laughs> of Sumeru once it is all over. No, 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 man. With the world through the forest. 
It's just that you won't be able to I see me for some you. time. You can't be serious. If the Traveler were here, she definitely wouldn't let you go through with it. If we knew this was how you were going to oh take responsibility, then we never would have agreed oh in the first place. Oh my god! Sorry, but we're out of options. You got world stars! Not all eagles who have fallen to the ground can soar in the sky once already. again. But if no risks are taken, then the eagle will be grounded forever. No. Please, no, Nahida! I, I don't want to. Oh, cutscene. <gasps> What the? Oh! I mean! The fire seed shattered, and the heat is. She's. Oh no! No. Dude, the sacrifice some. must be made, huh? but not by the Lord of Dendro. Be old. Be We've old. all grown on this long journey. Oh, it's so sad. If the purpose of that growth was to return home. Then our wishes have come true. No! Would you lend us your power? You knew it would come to this. All the knowledge, language, and emotions that you have learned will be reverted into pure elemental energy. In your new homeland, Nothing of who you were will Are remain. So... You won't be remembered by anyone. Is that truly the return you've always dreamed of? Oh no! Lord of Dendro, don't be sad. This is not your home. We go home. Lord of Dendro should also go home. What in the E.T.? Hear us, please. Feel our heartfelt desires. Awaken. Just say it, bro. Say it. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Uh, hey, what's up? Yo! Why is it my... Nah, dude, where's my Nahida? Oh god, what the fuck? Ow. Look at my team. Look at my team. What the fuck? Oh. Uh, okay. Thank you for <laughs> What in the world is happening with the subtitles? Music? Memo, memo. Memo, you're, you're, 
Matt was ready, bro. He spawned, he spawned back. Yo, I gotta spawn. I gotta spawn. <laughs> 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 Alright, bro. Let's go. 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 Let's
Alakmar. Yes. Alakmar eventually obtained this power with the help of Nabu Malikata. His ambitions continue to grow, and he planned to establish a powerful kingdom in my domain. Although I didn't think much of him, I allowed his actions under one condition. The condition was that after his death, all the knowledge he came to accumulate would belong to me. At that time, I still harbored deep regrets. By the time the Dragon King finally returned, the world had irrevocably changed. Some of the dragons have grown close to your kind, and have forgotten all about our hatred from when the world was taken from us. The Valen? And some died, leaving behind nothing but their bones. While others chose to flee after experiencing pain and agony. But for me, the scales and will of the Dragon King still shine bright in my heart. Even to this day, I will follow it until the end of my time. You really are insane. <laughs> when Alakmar's proud kingdom collapsed, I swallowed him whole as I agreed and absorbed his elemental power. However, what I gained was no benefit. No. I gained the apocalypse. I used up all my strength just trying to keep the pain under control. I had no energy to analyze the knowledge he had accumulated. But even then, I still believe that his insanity was far greater than that of my own. So that's how the apocalypse started. I admit that I fell for his trap. I was like a final failsafe in his plan. Tiny Boor. Tiny Boor. Continue forward. I shall keep a watchful eye. How far will a life so dear and precious to the heavenly principles be able to go? Hmm? I w Wonders. Whoa. We did it? No afterward? There should be an afterward. And we made it. We're basically at Street Fighter release. Hello. You just noticed? What? You don't know about Big Booty Man? Love that guy. Hey! Shout out to Big Booty like Man. The dragon will need to rest for a very long time before it is fully healthy again. It's not as ruthless as it was before. Hearing the dragon of its illness has seemingly made it more open to reason. <laughs> Nobody's in a good mood when they're feeling sick. That's fair, Paimon. Even though we accomplished something really important, Paimon still doesn't feel happy for some reason. Indeed. Although they'll still have the chance to be born again, they've lost their memories of their journey and their feelings for their homeland. Each opportunity for growth is unique in its own way. Perhaps the immense power we released was the pouring out of all these irreplaceable emotions that had built up over time. Can you really call a place with no family your home? Family... Right! The Hydro Fungus left behind its family. Those two fungi might be waiting for it to return. Oh no! Oh yeah! Let's hurry and go take a look! Huh. How are we going to explain all the complicated things that happened? Where we go?
Come on, man. My load times are getting long. Oh, look at them! They don't have a family anymore. They're still here! Have they really been waiting here all this time? <laughs> We're back. I'm sorry. I really am. But it's gone home and won't be able to return for a very long time. Don't be sad. It did it to protect you. Your happiness is more important to it than anything else in the world. It's said that Muir is its most important family member. That's your name, isn't it? Oh! The other one's pissed. He's like, what the fuck? Most important? Oh. oh. <sighs> this is wonderful. So it has left traces of itself after all. They will definitely meet again, someday. Oh, bird. You can, Sam. All right. We did it. Nahida Story Quest 2. Done in about two hours, if you don't count the... Me disconnecting from the internet. Aww. Very cute. Take Very easy. good story. Oh man, my computer is done with Genshin. Genshin has been on for too long on my computer. Alright. I think we are good. Call out a stream. Good progress. Oh my god, it is chugging. I don't know if you guys can tell, but... Computer is chugging to keep running Genshin. All right, we're three minutes from Street Fighter. I'm going to go play Street Fighter. Thank you guys for hanging out. I appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace.